business is not a new concept. In the late 1800s, economists came up with the concept of creative destruction, if you've ever heard that. And that's simply the notion that there's always somebody out there coming up with that better mousetrap, trying to come up with a way to do something cheaper, faster, better that replaces the current ways of doing things and also has the impact of making obsolete current business practices. Right. Uh, in Business Week a couple of years ago, uh, they made the point that creativity is really becoming one of the core competencies that you need in business. That because of the importance of coming up with new ideas and more importantly implementing those ideas more effectively, that is something that business leaders and many business people are going to have to have to remain successful and be successful in the future. Finally, I'd like to talk about uh, uh, Richard Ford. We're going to come back to him in a minute in terms of the uh, little exercise that I've got planned for you. But he talks about the fact that we really have uh, emerged into a creative knowledge economy. That what matters and the way that uh, business is conducted is increasingly relying on creativity and innovation. It's because creative thinking is coming up with the next big thing. And here's just a partial list of some of the innovations that came out of the period that we know as the Great Depression in the 1930s. The process of geography that led ultimately to the company that we know as Xerox was invented in the 1930s. So was Polaroid. Uh, Igor Sikorsky came up with helicopters in the 1930s. Uh, 3M's iconic Scotch tape brand uh, came out in the 1930s. Uh, Clarence Birdseye invented frozen food. And there's also the boy, Paul Boy Penn. And my favorite one, and certainly the one that's most essential to human civilization, is we learned how to put beer in the cans. And we've all benefited from that, I'm sure. The point is that the opportunity is there even in the toughest times. What we have to use is our creativity to realize it. The good news is that creativity is a mental muscle, and with practice, you know, the way to Carnegie Hall is practice, practice, practice. If you work on that mental muscle, you can become more creative. I've seen it, I've documented it, it happens if you work at it. And that's what we're going to do a little bit. We're going to look at making this group for a moment as we come together into an idea factory. This is really going to be the model, I think, of many uh, American organizations, many world organizations. How do you group, uh, bring, bring a group of people together? How do you task them with a real important issue? And how do you help them come up with creative solutions turned into practical innovations to make a difference for business and for society? And it's really a very exciting concept. And that takes us back to Richard Ford. Howard showed us very briefly some of the challenges that we have here in the Rivera Valley in terms of you have uh, opportunities, facilities, where new businesses would start, but in a tough economic time, how does that happen? Now, as Howard and I talked about, what's a way to get this group to come together, to experience on a practical level something about creativity? Uh, what would be an exercise? For this group, um, we thought it would be best is if we use this as one of those idea factors to come together, how could we make this area more economically productive? Now, the other thing we need is a note taker. Uh, I need to be facilitating, so we're going to like to be the reporter. Uh, Howard brought a uh, stand here. I see we brought a pen. Okay, yep. Uh, Don and I are going in a different direction. <laughs> Don't drag me in here. We consider a cup as protecting something valuable. <laughs> there you go. Okay, that's okay. okay. That's protective cup. Is that creative or what? <laughs> this is your choice. Well, in terms of the metaphor of protection with the cup, yeah. protecting our diversity. So. Well, when you think of a cup, they're thinking the shape of a cup. If our communities were more built by where you had to go in and spend time in that community and come back out instead of just passing through, you know, maybe that would, you know, while you go to some communities, you can't drive straight through. It's, it's a more of a point in it coming back. It's a symbol of, of Okay, so part of what you're 
uh, talking about goes back to Florida's uh, third tee, that tolerance. How can we be a more welcoming uh, open community? There is a cancer, breast cancer research in, in this town that you design a different brassiere mm -hmm. and it's auctioned off. Yes. Uh, so I we could have the, the A cup, the B cup, the et cetera. So, okay. <laughs> It's a community-run coffee shop called, like, the Community Cup, where people Columbia City Community Cup. Yeah, the C4. So if it was community-run, and we all donated our time, and, you know, maybe found a sponsor to donate coffee, and then we used it as a forum to do just that, like, be innovative and see how we can improve our community. You know, they do really have yeah. 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 the coffee house have like open mic nights and have you know some books where people can read or have poetry readings or you know, like it kind of same focus of the art. You could also call it the random word. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Oh, I like it. Yeah. Each one of those ideals and see what the benefits were and come back to this again. Okay, and go through perfect. and research each one of those ideals. Absolutely. Well, and there was, I think it was your poetry reading idea, the, the buzz that just kind of fluttered up with that thought. Whoa! That's either neat or weird or strange, but there was something about that remark that caught everybody's imagination, I think. So. What are the skills, what, is, what are the um, talents within the community that can be used to to, to do any of these things. Yeah, sort of an, an assessment of, of these are the community strengths. Not, yeah, it's basically a community strengths assessment. Yeah. You can find that and that was. Yeah. What, if, what if the uh, Rotary Club of Rainier were to facilitate a uh, bring a cup or over a cup of coffee type thing and a forum where we bring the business community in and go through a process like this, what can we do to improve this community, to make it more viable for people to come? What couldn't we do? Well, that's more like...